Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Some Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20. I apologize for the face. I I just can't get the camera to work this morning. Maybe it's better if I just turn that off. Uh, let me see if I can slide me out of the way there. All right, that's better. All right, uh, that way it's not blocking up the screen anyway. Uh, yeah, I just couldn't get the color to be there. It's just like weird. Anyway, uh, we are back. This is uh, Season 8 with the Dallas Cowboys, uh, Episode 1. I have uh, run early free agency and staff signing. We didn't sign any staff. We did uh, sign a couple of free agents. We'll look at that later. Uh, but I am back for scouting. I was coming back for the draft, but you remember last season, we may have discovered a glitch in the system, the ghost in the machine. So we're trying it out, right? So you'll notice I have three points left. I have uh, scouted every single person from round three. And what I'm going to do, just so I can remember this, is I am going to take a picture of that screen there. And uh, that way I can go find these players. And we will move along also while i'm just clicking through these buttons don't forget we're still in the midst of our christmas giveaway uh thanks to gary and the team over at wolverine studios uh for putting up a copy of the game for you guys to try to win uh if you're looking for the details on how to enter it's very easy pound the like button and leave a comment any comment doesn't matter you can tell me to go jump in the lake and it'll enter you in the contest don't tell me to jump in the lake because I might be predisposed to do that. Uh, but <laughs> anyway, um, we picked up a couple of new followers recently. Uh, so I do appreciate those guys. And to the uh, there is a league out there that has uh, offered me a spot. Uh, I am going to respectfully decline. Uh, I am uh, very heavily involved in online leagues, but uh, my passion lies in college football, not pro football uh, in fact I'm, I'm thinking about firing up a college football save at some point uh, don't know if it will be with uh, I, I know it will not be with bowl bound because I am in bowl bound leagues and I do not want to give away any secrets of stuff that I do uh, <laughs> so I'm th it's either going to be the draft day sports college football or I may break out the uh the old game from soul seismic software uh the college years if i can find it i know i've got it laying around somewhere but it would probably be easier to go with uh draft day sports college football to be fair and uh see see what we can do with that uh, but anyway that's down the road because we still have some pro football to deal with uh i have put it in fact let me check my tweets real quick because i had put up a query yesterday and the guys on the wolverine twitter feed i don't know if gary does his own twitter he probably does um but he uh i, I asked if we could actually get fired because i wasn't sure um no has not replied yet so you know we had the you know we had the 14 and 2 season two years ago and then last year we just fell apart it was just brutal and uh i know a couple of you guys commented that it was a good thing i still had a job but i don't know if the game will actually fire you i know some games will but some games maybe not Anyway, we're trying to see if this is a, if this will work. It may not. When you get down to the last points, it, you know, you might check all these boxes and it won't matter. Um, I would find it unusual that you could not have knowledge on every player. I mean, you know, you would go to the combine, you know, you would have a scouting team. But what kind of information will this give us? Anyway, let me finish checking this off, and we'll come right back. All right, I've checked off the rest of the boxes. Um, 
We have three points left. I'm not going to worry about that because I don't think we can do anything with that. Uh, let's see. Center. No. See, I'm wondering if we can even... God, I wonder if we can even scout all these guys. I mean, uh, interview all these guys. I'm going to check them all. And you know what? Just for those that one, I'm going to take a picture of that too. So that's why, well, I'd say I was leaning off screen, but you really can't see, right? All right, so I've got that. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, and scout. Yes, we are. All right, and to the draft. All right, we are picking. We should be picking relatively high, yeah? Draft recap. Here we go. We're not picking as high as I thought. 21st. Okay. Um, real quick, team news. Oh, don't forget, uh, I was talking about the giveaway. You can also check the video description. It has the rules, regulations, uh, no legal mumbo jumbo. Just, you know, we're giving away one copy. Uh, we'll pick it at random. And, uh, yeah, so it tells you how to, re how to enter. So read that. Uh, and then make sure you read you make a comment in one of the appropriate videos. Basically, this one counts. Anything in season seven and start starting at this one, and we're going to go until Christmas Eve. So six o'clock Christmas Eve, we will do the drawing on camera, and we'll go from there. All right. So uh, Jonathan Williams retired. Uh, he is uh, one of our running backs, and he was 32. Didn't play a lot. Didn't play at all for us. <laughs> uh, Robert Quinn retired, and I can't click on him. Don't know. Uh, he may not have had any stats. Zach Martin retired. He was 36. Uh, that was disappointing. So 109 starts, 320 pancakes, eight sacks allowed for his career. This one shocked me. I was not expecting that. Amari Cooper retired. I was hoping he would be back this year. He's coming off a 100-catch season. Uh, he was kind of in his prime, I thought, but uh, he has hung him up and so uh, left a big void there. So uh, to replace him, we've signed Micah Temple, uh, 82 speed, 92 hands, uh, former second round pick and uh, 41 starts in his career for the Titans, uh, 77 catches, 850 yards and seven touchdowns last year. Uh, he was targeted 159 times and only caught 79 balls. That's well under a 50% ratio, but he only had six drops. So a lot of that, I believe, is quarterback issue, I hope. And uh, we also signed a, uh, hopefully, what is a reserve guard. Uh, he signed relative, uh, no, he's our expensive guard. So no, he's he should be a starter. Uh, strength is a 95 82 run blocking, so I'm looking to beef up that run block on the interior line. And again, I don't know if any of this shit's right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm just guessing at it. Uh, we do have a couple of other offers out. We will look at that, but let's get into the draft. All right, let's pick until human. All right, and go to view players and sort out here. All right. I don't think we need a quarterback. We did not interview him, but we did scout him. So we have a hundred percent. So arm, pedestrian, accuracy. All right. So I don't, I don't think we need a quarterback. Um, now we're picking at 21st and they say there is a top 10 tackle, not the strongest. All right. But we have a, we have 99%. So he has acceptable strength, which is right up in the mid-range. But remember, supposedly, speed is more important for the tackle. And he is average. Come on, get on there again so I can see. There it is. Average. That's right dead center. And then we're looking for pass blocking, which is fine, which is actually on the upper side. Um, not bad, not bad, not one of the holes that I have, but I don't think you could go wrong t picking a top 10 player there. I mean, we're at number 21. I think you go best available. 
we're going to draft him. Boom. All right. Uh, close that view and pick until human. All right. Second pick. All right. View players. All right. That quarterback is still freaking available in the second round. God. Accuracy is average. Intelligence is pathetic. Okay, so we don't want him. We don't want him anyway. I do need a defensive tackle. I do need wide receivers. I have a defensive tackle that was first round quality. It looks like pretty high scores. All right, we... We we did not we did not scout every player up in the t first two rounds. I think it was starting at like round three, three, four. Um, so a little bit of a guess here. Uh, defensive tackle, pedestrian strength. Okay, it's it's on the lower half, but not super low. Uh, average agility. Tackling is awful. Uh, I already drafted a corner. John Burgess. All right, we don't have a lot of information on him. Awful strength, great pass blocking, acceptable run blocking. I think we're going to take a gamble on him. I would like to maybe see if there's some other guys. I wish, oh, you know what? We can. Here we go. Come on. All right, well. Um, hmm. I do, I need a running back, a fullback. I need wide receivers really bad. Richard Foray, 6'1", 187. Amazing speed and amazing hands. I think we found our guy. Let's go ahead and draft him. Amazing, I like that. Amazing sounds good. All right, round three, but this is pick 12. So we picked this up in a trade, I suppose. All right, let's sort out again. Again, I don't think we scouted all the guys, but let's see. So there's a guard, deficient strength, incredible pass blocking, subpar, which is on the low end. My guards, I want more run blocking. My tackles, I want pass blocking. Now, he's got incredible strength, awful, and pedestrian. Pedestrian's kind of middle of the road. The strength is good. Um, John Pimentel. Are any of these guys... Speed is awful. All right, that's bad. Speed is terrible. That's not reassuring in the least. Um, is that the highest rated? Oh, you know what? Real quick, real quick. Let me pull up one of my pictures. Right. Marvin Ezel. Let's find that guy. All right. So let's clear wide receivers only sort by name. And there's Marvin Ezel rounds four and five. So we had scouted him, but it did not give us the full Monty on him, but it gave us a little bit. All right, um, just out of curiosity, let's check farther down that list. Um, let's look at these tight ends because there was a couple of tight ends. Uh, let's see, Brian Rodriguez. 
right there. So he didn't register at all. Well, 5%. Uh, Thomas Irwin, right there. 18%. So it looks like it's not a full glitch. You can scout and get a little bit of information, but unless you're assigning the full points, you're not going to get the full thing. So I'm confused as to how you can really determine what players you want to dial in on, uh, what players might realistically be there when you're actually drafting. Because you remember that first season? Every single player that we scouted and interviewed were all gone. Uh, there was nobody left. So, eh, anyway. Oh, let's check one more thing. One more thing. Um, close view. Let's go to the war room. And view list. No, view players. I don't know. All right, so I didn't learn anything. I, didn't, I, I learned that what we thought might be a glitch uh, was not a glitch. It does not help. All right, incredible pass blocking, subpar. Subpar kind of sucks. All right, we're going to go just kind of go through these guys. So tackle. Now, he has exceptional pass blocking and average speed. Kind of like that. All right, let's go ahead and draft him. Well, actually, I guess we need to add him. And what about this guy? What's he? What do we know about him? Speed is pedestrian. Hands are awful. No. All right. So I got to get out of here. I got to go back to the. You should be able to draft a player from the war room. I would think. I would think. Because now I don't have a list. The guy that I just added isn't there. Right. So that doesn't help me in the least. He is right here, though. So let's go ahead. And that's who everybody is su suggesting anyway. So we will draft him. Awesome. Russ Blakely, welcome to the Cowboys. All right. Pick until human again. All right. Round three again. Second pick of the round. All right. Let's look through some of these guys. So hands, unexceptional. Run blocking is great. But un unaccept uh, pathetic speed. So he's not fast at all. So he's more of a blocking tight end. Pimentel, tackling, subpar, speed is awful. Pedestrian and awful, terrible. Average speed, subpar hands. Acceptable pass blocking. But if he's, if he's a tight end, don't I want him going out on routes? Maybe. Uh, awful pedestrian Lloyd Spooner strong safety tackling remarkable tackling terrible speed remarkable that's on the upper half Lloyd Spooner hmm I've already drafted some linemen but what I really need, I really need a wide receiver. So let's see if we can't find one. All right, he's got subpar hands, average speed, unexceptional, pedestrian. I saw the average, but the hands were not good. Average terrible, average awful. There's literally not a good wide receiver left in the bunch. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's killing me. Um, hmm. Has the speed to stay close to his man. But it says it's terrible. But that's not 100% accurate. Who are our guys telling us to pick? Michael Hulsey, this guy. Fundamentally a good kid, speed at the tight end, plays with nice instincts, average speed, acceptable pass blocking. Well, you know what? Because I don't see anybody that's just jumping off the page, we're going to defer 
to our uh, to our staff here. All right, fourth round. They want us to go with either Pimentel, who is still there, who is a round two three guy, or Donald Little, a corner, who's a round three four guy. All right. Great hands, unexceptional speed. Quickly discerns the play. Pimentel puts in the work, reacts intelligently. I actually know a little bit about him. We're at 25%. Tackling speed. But he's listed as a potential round two. This would be one of those um, value picks, so to speak. So let's go ahead and draft him. Not happy about that one, but we're certainly not really seeing anybody jumping out. By the way, what do you guys think about uh, the coach of the uh, Carolina Panthers getting fired the other day? Um, what was his name? I forget his name. He used to play for the uh, Ron Rivera. Didn't he used to play for the Bears? Maybe. Maybe. All right, fifth round. All right, they're saying uh, McIvey or McVay from Dartmouth. Let's look at Chung first. Leadership skills, catches the ball well on tape. Hands, incredible hands, but pathetic speed. This reminds me of um, Knowlton. Terrible is not much better. And he's got incredible and pathetic as well. 6-2, uh, he's younger. Sure, let's go ahead and draft him. Hopefully the coaches know what they're talking about. All right, six-round pick. All right, Max Ellsworth, running back. Got to scroll down a little ways to find him. In fact, there's two running. Well, these late rounds, I guess these are all scrambled, right? So let's just kind of take a gander at them. I'm looking for deficient speed. I'm not looking for deficient speed. I'm looking to see what their speed is. Pathetic speed. And Max Ellsworth, where are you? Well, if we sort by name, maybe that would be easier to find. There he is, a late round pick. Good behavior on the field, takes care of his teammate. Everybody counts him as their friend. Average speed, great hands. All right. And you know what? We see a lot of this is unscouted. Well, I guess his arm would be unscouted for sure. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and draft him. What the hell? Pick until human again. And our final pick of the draft. They want us to get the fullback. The fullbacks. I do need a fullback. Uh, so let's clear these, look at the fullback, and they're saying Columbus Stackhouse. I don't like the name Columbus because that's a city in Ohio. If you're from Columbus, my apologies. Uh, run blocking is average. Strength is pathetic. Hmm. He's the only one projected to go higher. Terrible strength. Acceptable. See, I would rather my fullback be a run blocker. I'm going to take Dempsey. I'm going to buck the, 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 the coaches. And we're going to go with that guy. Let's see. Rich Williams went number one overall. A free safety out of South Carolina with the first overall pick. 
Nobody saw that coming. They thought they would go with Larry uh, Armando Dean, a strong safety. All right. Uh, let's see. Any news? Let's check our news out. No. Uh, let's check our roster real quick. Where are we at on time? Yeah, we're still 25 minutes. All right. So we want... Yeah, we just drafted Francis Oaks last year, so I don't think we needed another quarterback this year. Uh, Max Ellsworth, the worst speed and the worst agility. Okay, so he's going to have some room to grow, hopefully. Robert Dempsey, he can run block. He's got 68 speed. Hell, he's almost as fast as my uh, as my running backs. Uh, tight end. We do have a new run uh, tight end over here. The fastest and the worst hands. He can pass block. The best pass blocker. Worst run blocker. <laughs> I did pick up two receivers. Let's check out speed wise. All right, they're the two slowest guys. with the third and fourth best hands on the team. So one of these guys might be pretty good. I like the 90 agility for Foray. That may help him break away. Now the speed, hmm, we'll see. Uh, nope, I did sign two tackles. All right, so strength-wise, they're actually the two strongest guys and Tackles are more pass blocking. So, yes, I think Dorian McDowell is our new uh, our new starter. And then we've got Russ Blakely. So, Tyron Smith. Now, you are balanced. Francis Garza. Let's go put him on the trade block. Garza, Garza. He's a tackle. There he is. All right, we're going to save that. Go back to the roster. If we can get there, let's look at our tackles again. Because I think I've got too many tackles, right? Um, hmm. We sort by pass blocking. Garza. He's a first year. I don't know, man. I might. Do I put Tyron Smith on the trade block? Let's look at our depth chart. Uh, head coach. Left tackle. Tyron Smith is not a starter. If he's not a starter at that salary, I think we trade him. I think we put him on the trade block. Now it's I find it too again I find I do find the trading too too difficult. I mean it's it's you know I haven't delved into it a lot but find finding a team that needs some you know if if it would give you their needs or something that might be helpful. You know, but or a lot of leagues uh a lot of games actually have a uh where you where you can offer up the player, you can like post the player, and then you can you know kind of see what clubs might be interested, and then you can go look at them. So maybe that's something to look at down the road. All right, let's see. We looked at tackle. All right, center, punter, defensive tackle. We didn't sign a defensive tackle. Or a defensive end. I, I know what I'm going after in free agency. No line. Uh, we did get a free agent linebacker. Who was it? I don't remember. Clarence, no. I don't remember. I don't recall. All right, there's uh, John Pimentel, our strong safety. So uh, let's see. Speed-wise, he is extremely slow. Oh, my God. He's got some agility. And he's equal in tackling. 
So I don't know. We'll 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 give him a shot, I suppose, at some point, but we'll see what happens with him. All right, what do we want to do now? Let's go back into free agency. Um all right, nothing today. Open the oh, I know what I need to look at. We have 17 million in cap room. That's what I wanted to look at. All right, so, and position count. So I still need one defensive tackle. I would like a defensive end. All right, so let's clear those. Let's look at defensive tackles. Uh, defensive tackles, I want strength, right? To clog up the middle. And tackling, 38, 36, 37. All right, he's only asking for a million to a million eight. So let's bump him up into the one six range. And then defensive end, and we want speed for the pass rush. Uh, and that's really all I'm worried about. Reynolds, let's offer him 1.4. Let's go to 1.25. Is uh oh position counts position counts wide receiver I do have five I do have five maybe another running back and another receiver so let's see I actually had an offer out on Vance at one point. Uh, his hands are 80. Yeah, let's go ahead and offer him a two-year deal. Let's do that. And then running back. Speed, agility. Fields. Let's go ahead and offer that. All right, let's see what happens here. Boom. All right, day six. A lot of signings there, fellas. Not from us, though. All right, we are the leading offer. Fair enough. All right, day seven. All right, we got... A wide receiver we're still the leading offer on our D end and running back all right round eight all right somebody outbid us on the running back so oh you can't offer from here okay so I was at 1.29 so let's raise him up to 1.43. Oh, there's Columbus Stackhouse. That was the uh that was the un that was the rookie. That was the undrafted rookie. Interesting. All right, cool. Remember we looked at him. All right, Jets, Chargers, Jags. All right, there's the Cowboys. So we got our defensive end, and we're leading on the running back. All right, let's go in and let's look at free agents again, just in general. All right, speed. Speed and tackling. I do have a 25-year-old. He's asking for 1 to 1 1.2. Let's meet in the middle. Uh, 89. Chris Benoit. Wow. Uh, let's see. You've got 88 speed, 64 agility. Gary Ruiz. Isn't that our guy? Yeah. He never played for us. All right, well, 
I don't think I need anybody else. If we get this running back. If we get the running back. All right. Um, we got the D end. I'm guessing we did not get the running back. So let's see if we can find that running back. This was around nine. Hello. It wasn't him. I don't think. Don't think it was him. I don't even remember the guy's name now. <laughs> All right, well, I don't guess we signed him. That's cool. Email. Um, damn. Oh, that was round six. Okay. All right, training camps. So remember last year... Uh, training, training. It's somewhere. Team menu. Contracts. Man, training. There it is. All right. We want to go up on... Uh, oh, hello. Quarterback schedule. So just our quarterbacks are on a different schedule. And we're going to go... Positional drills and let's go positional drills both sides. All right, run training. All right, let's check us. Ooh, Dak. Dak took a big hit this year. Wow. All right, we want to drop this back down to 22. And the quarterbacks to 22. And man, that was brutal. All right, how bad is Dak? Let's go check him out. Uh, roster, Dacky boy. All right, his arm, his accuracy's dropped off. Let's check these guys. So accuracy. Francis Oaks now is pretty high above him. Intelligence is 90. His arm is a letdown. He's got one year. So we've got two years left. So we don't have to trade him. All right, let's go check out our depth charts. Uh, let's give this to the offensive coordinator. So Prescott, Oaks, Reuter. All right, and we will save that. Defense, we'll give to the defensive coordinator. Save that. Special teams, we'll give to the head coach. Boswell, Pratt. All right. All right, guys. Well, we are uh, pretty far into this episode. I am going to try to weed out a little bit of this in editing, but we'll see. But a lot of times this first one goes longer just because there's so much to cover. I don't play the preseason with uh, on camera, so we'll come back next episode for week one. But uh, tell you what, why don't we do that? We'll just come back next episode. We've seen the draft. Uh, we'll come back next episode. We'll go through the depth charts, uh, our starters, and uh, we'll go from there. If you guys play this game and you've got any input, please leave it in the comments. And those comments, along with any other comments, will enter you for the giveaway for the free copy of the game. Check the video description for the details on the giveaway. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button. That's the, that's the one way I ask that you support my channel. If you like what you see, that lets me know that you like it. That's how I know if you want to see more of it. And it's how you, you know, that's the one way that you can give me positive feedback. Um, so appreciate it very much. And we will see you guys next time to kick off the regular season, season eight in Big D. Catch you later. Bye.